You know, entering and flying a holding pattern is one of the many phases of IFR flight where advanced avionics used effectively can really reduce your workload. So let's fly through a couple of scenarios using a WASP GPS unit and see how easy it can be. Keep in mind that there are differences between units manufactured by different companies, so the entries you see here may be somewhat different than the equipment you fly with. But the scenarios we show will still give you an idea of how advanced avionics can help you. In our first scenario, you are on Victor 208, you are westbound, and you are passing Bondo Intersection at 8,000 feet. Your destination is Oceanside Airport, and your route is Victor 208 to the Oceanside VOR Direct. ATC instructs you to proceed Direct OCC, Expect the GPS Runway 6 approach and advise ready to copy holding instructions. So you grab your pen and you tell ATC you're ready. ATC tells you hold west of OCC as published. Expect further clearance at 2010. Maintain 3500. You accurately copy and read it back. The controller acknowledges and tells you that you're number three for the approach. Now you want to load the GPS Runway 6 approach into your flight plan and set up the assigned holding pattern. When you load an approach, you'll want to think through which transition you select. Here on the approach, your choices are Guki, Hyjos, and Pacif. You've been assigned direct OCC to hold, and since OCC is the final approach fix, take a look at the choice of vectors. The small map shows that the vectors transition will have CATHO and OCC in it, so you'll select that. Now your active leg is still direct to CATHO, so you still need to tell your unit to go direct to OCC instead. That's done with a quick punch of the Direct 2 key, and you can uh, bring up then the Direct 2 window and make the entries to change your current route leg to go Direct OCC. And once you have that entered, you'll be able to set up the holding pattern. So highlight OCC in your flight plan and select Hold at Waypoint. At first, you may notice that the holding pattern window is already populated with a holding pattern based on your present course. But once you begin entering holding information, this GPS unit will preload the published holding pattern. It's a good practice to regularly check what your avionics come up with against your own conclusions and particularly against the actual chart. This will help you ensure that your devices are being correctly programmed. And it's a good idea to stay sharp at figuring out your own holding pattern entries just to double check that your equipment is indeed correct. To check it yourself, hold a pencil or something straight along the inbound course to OCC, then move the tail of it 70 degrees into the holding pattern airspace. You're over here to the east, and you already know that you're in either the teardrop or parallel entry sector. The reciprocal of the inbound course of 062 is 242 degrees on this line to OCC from the east. Your course, direct to OCC, is about 268 degrees, so you're here in the medium-sized parallel entry sector. Or you can just eyeball it. If the holding pattern has standard right turns, as this one does, if you need to turn left to enter it, it will be a parallel entry. And if you need to turn right instead, it will be a teardrop entry. Now, because you pressed load hold, there will be white dashed arrows indicating the parallel holding procedure. They are awfully hard to see here, but they'll be very visible on the unit in your airplane. 
and I always feel better when the avionics and I come up with the same answer. So far, you and your WASH unit are on the same page. With this unit, loading the holding pattern and activating it are two separate steps. There is no change to this display when you select Activate Hold. You'll want to press Activate Hold to activate the holding pattern in order to receive hitting cues when you get near the holding fix. If you do not activate the holding pattern, the unit will suspend waypoint sequencing when you reach the waypoint and you will not be given cues about which entry procedure or what heading to fly. Let's take a close look at the display indications you're given when the holding pattern is activated. Now that you're getting close to OCC, your WASH unit tells you which holding pattern entry procedure to fly. You can see it's flashing hold parallel, which is the entry you've been expecting. And now you can clearly see the white arrows showing the parallel entry. When the holding pattern activated, the unit cues you to fly heading 243 to begin the parallel entry. You'll also receive cues to turn to the inbound and to the outbound legs. Waypoint sequencing will be suspended at OCC as long as the holding pattern is active. And hey, good news! After a couple of circuits in the holding pattern, you are now number one and cleared for the approach. The easiest way to reconfigure this WASH unit from holding to flying the approach is to just press the unsuspend button. Unsuspending means that you have told the GPS unit to cancel the hold and continue automatic waypoint sequencing. And the best indication that automatic waypoint sequencing has resumed and the approach is active is this LNAV plus V annunciation. The white line on the map shows that the leg from OCC to Revly, the missed approach point, is next. So you use the WASH unit to load the approach into your flight plan, hold, and then cancel the hold and resume the approach. And now you're all set for a flawless approach and landing. Let's take a look now at setting up a non-published holding pattern in a WASP GPS unit. There are a few more steps involved, and this time we'll observe and see if we can pick up on a common mistake. Here's the scenario. The pilot is proceeding to Bondo on the 007 radial at 6,000 feet. Hey, the 007 radial to Bondo, that's neat. ATC issues these holding instructions. Hold west of Bondo on Victor 458, left turns, expect further clearance at 2020. So the pilot calls up the flight plan, selects Bondo, and then selects hold at waypoint. The pilot enters the course, direction of turns, and expect further clearance time, then presses load hold. The holding pattern is loaded, but it still needs to be activated. So the pilot selects the holding pattern on the flight plan, plan page and presses Activate Hold. On the map page, it shows a parallel entry procedure. That's the entry chosen by the WASH unit software. As the aircraft nears Bondo, a hold parallel enunciation flashes, and that's followed by the first heading to fly for this entry, which is 083 degrees. As the aircraft nears the end of the one minute outbound leg, the GPS unit will display the next heading to be flown 308 degrees to intercept the inbound course. This WASP GPS is very helpful for non-published holding, but oh, What's that? Skylight 7, Yankee Victor, low altitude alert. Check your altitude immediately. The minimum victoring altitude in your area is 6,800. You appear to be well east of the holding pattern. Do you have the terrain in sight? So what happened there? 
It seems like the pilot surprised the controller by winding up well east of where they were supposed to be. And surprising controllers is never a good thing. Now, I'm sure you spotted what went wrong. The pilot was told, hold west of Bondo on Victor 458. To hold west of Bondo on Victor 458, the inbound leg course would have to be 083. But the pilot must have rushed a little bit. They may have had the word west in the back of their mind as they looked at the chart. And the Julian 263 radial to Bondo catches the eye more easily than the 083 radial over here coming out of Oceanside. The pilot hurriedly typed 263 for the holding course, but the correct course is the reciprocal 083. And that put the pilot on the wrong side of the holding fix on the east side of it instead of the west side. Even super pilots can make mistakes, so they form habits and practices that help avoid and correct them. First, the only time to rush in an airplane is if you see flames in the cabin or another plane close enough to tell if the pilot's wearing sunglasses. Now, let's watch our pilot work through the same scenario a little differently. ATC issues these same holding instructions. Before building the holding pattern in the GPS, the pilot visualizes on the chart roughly where they will hold. And it looks about like this, west of Bondo with left-hand turns. Then the pilot checks to see what holding pattern entry to expect. They use something straight, like a pin, lay it over the inbound course, then move it 70 degrees into the holding pattern side of the airway. Now, Victor 458 is the line dividing the teardrop and parallel areas, and the pin is the diagonal uh, line dividing the direct area from the other two areas. The aircraft is inbound to Bondo on the Mission Bay 007 uh, degree radial, which means it will fly through the direct entry area. For a direct entry, the pilot will fly to Bondo and then turn left directly to the outbound leg heading of 263. And now the pilot will build the holding pattern in their flight plan. First, on the flight plan page, they select Bondo, then select Hold at Waypoint. When the hold window pops up, you can see that the GPS unit has populated, has preloaded a hold on the current course to Bondo. The pilot enters the information needed to build the assigned holding pattern. Course 083 inbound, left turns, the EFC, and then presses load hold. Now they must press activate hold to tell the GPS unit that they do want to hold in the pattern they built. Now on the map page, the white dots show that the GPS has calculated a direct entry into the holding pattern. So the pilot came up with direct entry on their own, and that is now backed up by the information in the GPS unit. When the plane nears Bondo, the GPS gives cues to expect and then tells the pilot to turn to heading 263, the outbound leg heading. At four miles from Bondo, the GPS calls for a left turn to the inbound course of 083 degrees. Now the pilot is all set in the holding pattern. When ATC clears the pilot out of holding, the pilot will press the unsuspend button to resume automatic waypoint sequencing. And if ATC changes their route, they'll enter those changes on the flight plan page. Now, if you have a fully integrated glass cockpit, like for instance a G1000, you can turn the autopilot on and let it enter those holding patterns on its own automatically and fly the aircraft around them much more precisely than you or I could do it. 
Pilots that know the ins and outs of their advanced avionics and stay proficient at using them will reduce their workload significantly during key phases of flight and will increase safety. But I think of using avionics the way President Reagan thought about arms negotiations. Trust, but verify. So with advanced avionics, remember to use T-L-A-R, T-L-A-R, that looks about right. And the test of reasonableness, does it make sense?